swapping off stage PC, because uh, you need to swap to like recover. And huh. oh, all right. Well, never mind. Everything God you've been it. talking about is <sighs> meaningless. Is lies uh, because we are not. <laughs> yeah, yes, uh, we are not seeing Quid's Pokemon Trainer. We are seeing his Minecraft Steve. Uh, I have never seen his Minecraft Steve before, but I know that Quid is a really good player. So I'm actually kind of looking forward to seeing uh, what this Steve can do. So even though these two played in Winners Finals. It's gonna be this is it, it, irre whatever happened there is irrelevant to what how this match is gonna play out yeah. because both of them are playing completely different characters. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not the tightest of combos though, for Quid's Steve. Maybe a little bit of a pocket character because normally with some of those dedicated Steves, you see the you see those combos being like some punishes into like fifty percent. So. A little bit of relaxation for Jonathan at the moment, but maybe Quid just needs a little warming up. I mean, Quid is also still winning. He's doing fine. That's he, true. This is the thing. Like, if you're if you're a solid player, you don't necessarily need to be doing things perfectly. Uh, you don't need to be like hyper optimal. If you're able to just consistently, you know, no, no, I understand how this game works. I know how to read my opponent. I know how to punish their bad habits and all that. Then. You know, you can win with a lot of characters, even if you're not even that familiar with them. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, it does seem like he is decently familiar with Steve right here. He's not like, you know, he's just like, wait, what does my down here do? And, oh my, 113%. I'm not going to knock this Steve at all. Like, wow, he's kind of just doing the work right now. Yeah. Like, you would think that Quid is Jonathan's boss because all they're giving is work. <laughs> Just be like, I'm going to need you to stay late this weekend. <laughs> this, if you could, it's going to be a long grand. grand. It's going to be a long grand here. Uh, you're not going to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the, the mine cart. Okay, possibly big opening here. Yep, with but, that diamond, 41, no, 67. 67. Wow. Okay. Oh, my God. I, I, I think he knows his Steve combos. Yeah. I think he just warmed up a little bit. And there we the go. Diamond little... pickaxe. Almost doing it. Just barely alive. But that's oh. still a diamond weapon quit. Yeah. And a little, you know, a little forward throw for your troubles. And... This is almost game right here. Like, they're not even at 80. Or they're not even not not even at 90% right now. And this could very easily be it. And yep. There and go. there it is. Quid taking game one in a two stock. And that was in less than three minutes. Like a little under three minutes. You could, you know, bang out a wrestling match or two there. <laughs> Why is a wrestling match your unit of time? Because uh, that's, that's three minutes long. All wrestling matches? Uh, yes. Wrestling no! matches are three minutes. Long. That it's a three-minute timer. And it's also uh, bouts for or it's rounds in um or wrestling match. It's the rounds are three minutes. Okay, so just I want to clarify something here. When you say a wrestling match, you're not talking about professional wrestling. No, no, I am talking okay. about wrestling. Wrestling. All right. See, like, that's where the disconnect was. Yes, like two I guys was just singlets. like, I'm pretty sure it's all scripted, but I don't think it has to be three minutes. No, no, no. I'm talking about like two guys in singles. Like a Greco-Roman, like yes. come at, have at me. Yes, <laughs> that's what they yes. say during wrestling, right? <laughs> <laughs> have at me. <laughs> As they, they grab their. <laughs> oh, speaking of wrestling, actually, it's a very nice touch that uh, Incineroar, when doing the back throw, does not grab, does not lock hands. Because in wrestling, you can't lock hands. You I mean, he's to... a professional wrestler, and professional wrestling, they can. So. Yes, but he does what actual wrestlers do. You grab your wrist. So. Well, I think, in general, grabbing your wrist would be better support. One, so. I think grabbing Probably. your hands. Can you suplex in wrestling? No. No. That is... Unless you're in Olympic wrestling. But Wait, in Olympic wrestling, they let you suplex? Yes. 
Dang, Olympics are cool, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing, it. but it's a wooden, wooden pickaxe. It's not gonna be enough to like kill us, kill him this early. Yeah, but like, it just sends a message, you know. I mean, yeah, and it's still a very hefty chunk of change. I mean, forty-five yeah, percent. Yeah. Ooh. And I think Jonathan's got a good idea of trying to keep Steve away because he knows if Steve gets in, you're going to take a lot. Steve is such a strange character. Oh, such a strange character where it's just like he's kind of campy, but he also has like as to approach kind of. Yeah. I mean, it's a good character. This entire fighter's past has just been good characters. Ooh. But this is Max Rage, Steve, so... Oh. Yep. Max Rage Bear. Ooh. Ooh. So, for those of you who don't know how the ledge invincibility mechanics work, the higher your... It's, it's the formula that's calculated based on your percent and also how long you spent off stage inversely. So if you spent l less time off stage, you'll get less invincibility. So at really? those really high, per yes. So at those really high percents, when you've been off stage for like just a second and then you re grab the ledge, you're gonna run out of invincibility almost immediately. And that's what we just saw there. I did not know that. That's good to know. But, oh my God. <gasps> oh, that was almost it right there for that stock. Okay, gonna break the block from right underneath him. And, oh man, now we have 129% onto Jonathan. He's trying to make something happen right here, but... All right, actually, right there, the up air's connecting. That's even more percent. One grab could... Oh, okay, one grab from Jonathan could be it, but... Yeah, that... That almost killed there, too. I mean, was just... He has a diamond, so as whenever he's able to, I think he can go and get a diamond weapon. Or just, you know, save up the diamond, wait for next stock, because they do have iron, and as stock just went away, didn't need that quite yet, but they're starting this final stock off with quite a lot of threat. Oh, yeah. Okay, there come the hits. Let's see how much damage this is going to be. 40% real quick. And... Oh! Ah! All that damage. Forward smash. Almost killing right there. John oh, oh, man. Jonathan's still ah! not able to make it back. And that's going to be it. Game two in the bag. We have Quid up 2-0 right now. Wow. <laughs> um... Question, do you think we see another character switch? Do you see do we think he goes back to Pyramithra? Because we have yet to see him play. I would not agree with Pyramithra that. Pick, but... I mean, so far you've had five rather convincing games. I feel like something Ready? maybe you need yeah. to make a bit of a Hail Mary pass. Yeah, Doesn't look like we're going to be getting that, though. Sticking with the Rob as we move mm -hmm. into what could possibly be the last game of this entire tournament, unless Jonathan is able to turn that trend that's been happening around. Uh, that's not a great way to start it, eating 60% in the first five and seconds. Jeez. Just already, from a single combo, 60%. And climbing! Oh, my God. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god. That up smash. Completely unanswered. That's the first hit we've seen actually land onto Quid. And it was like a weak powered laser. That up smash, though, so strong. It lasts for 58 frames. That's how active it is. <gasps> okay, this could actually be huge. Nope. Way off stage. I don't know if he has a jump. Whoa. He manages to dodge it. I don't know what sort of. Did you God to that? the netherworld he needed to make a deal with in order to dodge that down air, but he did it. So, Quid still living, but 91%. Actually, what looked like a just complete, complete train 
like, you know, just, just a, uh, just a slaughter. Now looking like an even game. Oh, whoa. Barely avoiding that up air, and because of that, going to be living quite a lot longer here. And, you know, weak laser, not enough to kill. And Quid's just like, yeah, I'll let that hit me. It's worth it for more resources. Ooh. Is this going to kill? Yes. Yes, it will. Up throw from center stage. No, if it's an up throw, he doesn't have to worry about the stage positioning. Whoa. Uh, he's alive? He's fine. He's Is he dead? No. 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 That, that roto arm, its base knockback is so strong, but its knockback growth is actually a little bit underwhelming. Yeah. Oh my god, already three hits into 42, 51. Oh my god. Yeah. This and, we is... have a... and the diamond weapons are now out in full force, as we're seeing. And, I mean, at the end of that last game, we saw just what, like, two... It was like two diamond forward smashes after a single combo, and that was it. Jonathan mm -hmm. was dead. Yeah, because diamond forward smash is very fast and very strong. It can kill you without you expecting it. Oh my god. 95% already. This is one F smash away from killing. <gasps> oh, that back air frames from connecting. And Ugh. having to recover low right back like that reminds me of old timey sieges. It's like that scene from Hunchback of Notre Dame. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Boiling the boiling oil. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, but it's actually not... Oh, 75. Is he dead? What's happening? Am I dead? <laughs> the philosopher question. <laughs> Did I just die? <laughs> oh, that up smash. Is that going to do it? That combo. That was... Wow. And beautiful from start to finish. I I only really knew Quid as I know he's a really good player, but I only knew him for his Pokemon trainer. But that's just showing this, showcasing what this Steve can do. I mean, know know him as a Pokemon trainer, know him as a Steve, and now know him as the champion of Xeno Wi-Fi sixty one. Wow. All right, that was honestly it was much quicker tournament than we're used to. Not a lot of. I, yeah. I feel like every week so far, it's been like every best of five set goes to game five. But yeah, that um, was just. Yeah, no, but yes. honestly, some great, fantastic sets and great stuff to quit.